are we constant? We're not constant. Typically for polynomials, degree uh, greater than or equal to 1, you won't have constant. You'll just have increase, decrease. It's a word problem. You mean yes. Thara Billy wants to build four adjacent rectangular pens, all of which are next to his barn. Mathematicians really like farmers. We do a lot of examples with them. He has 500 feet of fence available. The edge against the barn will not receive fencing. What should the dimensions be to maximize the area? Use your calculator to find the maximum. All right, while you're sitting there writing it down, what do you think we should do first? Draw a picture. Yep, sounds good to me. All right, here's the barn. I want you to figure out what the pens will look like based on the barn. So this is what your four adjacent rectangular pens all next to the barn should look like. Adjacent means they have to touch each other, and they all have to be next to the barn. By design, they do not have to be the same width. They could be any width they wanted to, and by width I mean this distance here. This does not have to be the same for each section. It will be the same answer. We're talking about the overall area. So let's get some variables in here. Let's call this x, and let's call this y. We're talking the entire thing is y. We don't have, want to have separate y's here to make the problem way too hard. In this style problem, you're going to have two formulas to work with, two geometric formulas to work with. What are they? The area. This is what we're trying to maximize. And what else are we working with? Perimeter. In this style problem, what happens is you're typically given a number for one of these formulas, and you have to use that number in the other formula. We know what the perimeter is. We know the perimeter is 500. So according to our picture, how many total x's do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. These are all x's. Plus, how many y's do we have? Just one. Because the edge against the barn will not receive fencing. What's our area equation so far? x times y. because it's a big rectangle. So with this stated, area has two variables, x and y. You do not learn how to maximize in two variables until calc 2, maybe even calc 3. So you've got some time before you learn how to do that. Until then, meaning from now until calc 2, you have to do this technique of solving for one of the variables in this equation and substituting it to the same variable in the other equation. So all these two variables in perimeter, x and y, which one's the easier one to solve for? y it is by, how do we solve for it? Yep, subtracting 5x. So instead of the y in the area equation, we now can write our area in terms of all x's. So we would say x times 500 minus 5x. Now you can distribute your x if you want. However, for our purposes, it's not going to make a difference. We do not know how to maximize this just yet, two sections from now. So until then, we need to use our calculator. So if you would, put this into your y equals. Again, the window is the tricky part here. 
Um, it takes a lot of trial and error. So I'm just going to tell you what to put for the window. Uh, we're going to make the X min negative 10. I need to make this smaller so it fits, I apologize. X min negative 10, we're going to make the X max 100. And we're going to make the scale 10. So that means every 10 is a tick mark. Every tier is a waterfall. Y min will make negative 10. Y max 15,000. And the Y scale 1,000. All right, here graph. So all these points here, if you were to add five times the x's plus one of the y's, would have would equal 500. That's what this is saying, because um, about the thing is only one point, only one combination of an x and a y produces the maximum area. Meaning, if you had a hundred feet of fence, you could make it uh, 25 by 25, so it'd be a square, or you can make it one foot by 49, and that would be 100 feet of fence. However, that area would be a lot smaller than if you did 25 by 25. So what we need to do is find the maximum, so same process as before, second, calc, maximum. Your cursor might be in a different place. Mine just happened to be put there. Make sure when you go do your bounds, you're clearly left and right of the, of the hill or the valley. So left bound, I'm just going to go left of the curve, hit enter. Right bound, go to the right of the curve, hit enter. If you don't want to scroll, you can type in numbers as long as you know what your x values are. And for gas, I'm just going to move it to the top. The guess is really only good if you accidentally uh, surrounded two maximums or two minimums in this case. Oh my, who's a liar? You are. You may have gotten a completely different number here. You may have gotten 49.9998. And you got 50 exactly? Your calculator's not lying to you. 50 is the correct answer. So, what dimensions should, they, uh, should the farmer use to maximize the area? We just found that x should be 50, which means y is 500 minus 5 times 50, which is what? My, did you say 250? OK. I just said 150. Yep. 250. We're assuming, of course, that his barn is at least 250 feet wide to begin with, or long. Otherwise, well, the pig already got out over there, so that's OK. What are you going to do? The area is not 250.